The biggest challenges I come across with our clients at the moment is not enough work, not enough invoicing, not enough profit, not enough staff, not enough time. I would agree with that 100%. Yep. And they're always the biggest struggle because they lead to people feeling like their businesses aren't going to the space that they want them to go to at the speed that they want it to happen. So let's break them down. Let's go through each one by one and let's come up with a bit of a solution for it. Simple, punchy solution that people could implement today and see changes pretty quickly. Not enough work. Not enough work. Get more. <laughs> Get more and work. Look, I okay, know that sounds <laughs> really simple. If you need more work, go hunting. If you need more work, set up things that are going to lead to you getting more work. Don't sit here on your hands and be like, oh, I can't find any more work. Oh, I wish that more work would just come my way. Like, go get it. If you want a girlfriend, you don't sit at home by yourself. No, you go and meet people. Yeah. You build relationships, you make friends for business. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do this. You can do cold outreach, you can email people, you can cold call, you can walk into shops, you can go and join a BNI group. Welcome to Beyond Human. These spirits would communicate to them. I came to know Jesus personally. You can add a little bit of your budget to your advertising or your marketing. There's so much that you can do to get more work. And if you identify you don't have enough, then start with something that doesn't cost you any money. We literally had Brendan. He's like, I want to increase the speed that I'm getting towards my goal. <laughs> Dude, go and do more outreach. And he's like, oh, yeah, okay. And so he did it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then by the end of the day, he's like, man, I just, I just picked up three more buildings. I think it ended up being like an extra 40 grand worth of work in just three hours of calling people. Yeah. So simple solution. If you don't have enough work, enough work go and get more work. We haven't done enough invoicing. This is sort of for the people that have the work. They just don't take the time to actually send out the invoices because mm. they're too busy. But if you are too busy for too long and you don't invoice your clients, you're not going to have enough cash. And I like money. Do you like money? I like getting paid for my services. I love getting paid for my services. And I mm. think that everyone out there should get paid for their services. Yes. No one here is a bank. But... If you don't have enough time consistently to get your invoicing done, either A, spend more time doing invoicing, or B, hire someone to help you with invoicing. Like, let's keep it real simple. Not enough profit. Not enough profit. I don't know why I whispered that one. I just feel mm. like it's such a zen topic. Is it? I want more profit. I feel like it's the opposite of zen. Nah. It's the, Profit like, should just come. I work so hard, but it's not. But not. if you get to a point where things are working nicely, the profit just, it just comes. If you are not seeing enough profit, there's several levers you have to look at. Pricing, volume, am I actually priced correctly? So if my schedule is full, I'm using everyone to their fullest capacity and I can't do any more volume but I'm losing money, you might just not be priced correctly to cover all your costs. So maybe you have cost overruns, that's another one. You might just be quoting incorrectly or you're saying i can do this job in four hours but your staff actually takes eight hours mm. guys input how much materials cost and they don't review it every month they don't update it if things go up five ten percent that's five or ten percent gone off your margin not enough staff mitch yep i've tried hiring for 12 months yeah but have you I've had an ad up. What are you offering? What everyone else is offering. Yeah, well, if you're going to offer what everyone else is going to offer, why would I leave my current job where I've been for five years or two years that I know uh, what to do and what it's like? Why would I leave that and come to you? I always bring things back to like relationships. Hmm. Like out there, hand up if you've stayed in a relationship for longer than you should have. Yeah, I have. You have. Chips has. Everyone has. <laughs> And the reason that you do is because it's probably more comfortable than the unknown. So if you are offering the same as everyone else, then people are going to stay where they are. Treat people better. Give them more. Work it out in your cost of operations calculator. Build out the model so that you can afford to give people some of the great things that your, your company is willing to offer. You'll attract staff so much easier. Not enough time. Everyone says, I don't have enough time to do that. Mm. That is actually just a bullshit answer. Not enough time has three components. One, I'd rather do X than do Y. Mm -hmm. Two, I'm obligated to do X. So that means I can't do Y. Or three, I can't be fucked. Everyone has the same amount of time. You have to identify what is it. Is there a priority problem? Is there a, like a reward, risk versus reward issue? Yep. Or is there an energy problem? You know what gave me a lot more time? Yes, I do. Personally. You build up my calendar. <laughs> I did, I did. And I'm sticking to it. Mm -hmm. 
which is amazing. So just getting organized and creating space for the things that you want to achieve, that includes family time and rest time as well, gym time if you do your fitness routine, and then it also includes, okay, how do you break up a work day? And when do you do your admin task? When do you do your invoice follow-up? When do you do your reconciliation? When do you do your billable hours? We've talked all day about like not enough. And the answer to all of this is then just take action. Do something yep. and you will fix that problem very quickly. I think that they're the main not enoughs that we They would definitely across. be the main not enoughs that we hear. And just focus on one at a time. Just like keep it simple and don't overcomplicate it. Just as soon as you start taking action on whatever point, you'll see that things change pretty quickly.